this was our first big project together for me and, and the ownership group. And to see how much every how well everybody worked together, the level of support there was going both ways, uh, really gave me a great feeling that this is going to be a collaboration uh, that will have great success. And then the second great outcome, obviously, was hiring Jeff Bauer, uh, an experienced and proven general manager, uh, to come in here and, and help us get this thing going with the Pistons. Uh, Jeff knows the NBA inside out. One of the things that um, I, I've known Jeff for a long time, so I knew this, but one of the things that I think that impressed Tom and Bob and Phil right away with Jeff is that he's done almost everything at the NBA level. Okay, he's been an assistant coach, he's been a head coach, he's been a scout, he's been an assistant general manager, he's been a general manager. So he's got an experience that really allows him to know the NBA uh, on every level of what goes on in terms of basketball operations. He's had success in building a winning team in very trying circumstances uh, in New Orleans. A lot of things going on there um, that I'm sure you're all aware of. He's a proven talent evaluator. And I think the other thing is, besides his experience in the NBA, he's coached at the college level. He was one of the first guys that really started doing a lot on the international stage at the college level, bringing people over, brought Rick Smiths over, um, you know, and, and some others. So he's got experience at the college level. He's got great experience in contacts internationally. But I think what stood out to me more than anything when we got in the interview process were his organization and his thoroughness, his outstanding communication skills, and more than anything else with me um, is in, in sitting there talking with him was how much time he spends trying to learn and get better and always finding ways to do things better, not satisfied with you know, well, this is the way we've always done things. Stan and I got to know each other on the road recruiting back, you know, 20 years ago, sitting at gyms that nobody else wanted to sit in on, on nights that, that you really didn't want to be there. But through that, a lot of conversations and a lot of sense that we had a similar approach to, you know, how we did things and how we, what we wanted and how we were working in the jobs that we had. Uh, and just over the years, the the contact at different uh, games, events, you know, uh, personal friends that we have in common. It was just, just a relationship, I think, that continued on. It was a very, very normal type of relationship, I thought. The challenge, the role, the opportunity to play a part in a franchise that can really generate excitement and can really be a uh, – something that the entire community can be proud of, can be proud of and can look at as a, a source of um, excitement and a source of, and a place to come together with other people. That, I thought that may be a, a once in a lifetime opportunity 